It is Tox versus Three, Cypher. We are two, on map one. It is one. Blood Run. Fight. So we are going to kick it off on Tox, spawning down by the lightning gun. Seeing a Cypher in front of him, actually just taking quite a bit of damage with the machine gun. But it looks like Tox is going to be able to grab both of the major items. All he is missing is a rocket launcher. I don't even have those tri uh, weapons that he needs. And uh, Cypher is above him. It's off an easy rail angle. And uh, Cypher just taking damage at the moment. That machine gun has been the most effective weapon so far, but I'm sure that's going to change very soon as we move over to this red armor. Tox is, uh, and Cypher have both actually kept their distance from each other in the opening exchanges. Grenades bounce down from uh, Cypher towards that mega as the rockets follow suit. And Tox lines up a rail, very meticulous with his rail. The mega is up, he will collect it and uh, just desperate to throw it off as, as far as he can to make sure that Cypher can't hear him collect it, can't see him, and uh, then follows it up with the yellow as well. And so those are very much in uh, Tox's back pocket at the moment. And so Tox hears the shards being picked up by Cypher and decides to evade, but that grenade will have double, uh, double grenade hit does exactly what it says on the tin, and Cypher does collect the red and get Gets out of there very well before the rails land from one another, and this will be the opportunity as Cypher and Tox both miss their next rails. Mega's coming up in seven seconds. Cypher's going to push for it. He's realized that Tox threw it off, and now he's going to sit right on top of it. It spawns in two, one. There's no frag from Tox, but he did just manage to pull Cypher off it for a second. But Cypher wow. got it and got away. I think Tox slightly fortunate to be alive there. He hang around for a long time, but those players just weren't able to uh, connect with those final shots. Cypher going to have a bit of an advantage. Red armor is up and Cypher is on the upper area. Tox just waiting. He's hoping that Cypher's going to jump over so he can deal some damage. There's a bit of lightning gun, but he is so low at the moment. The yellow armor is there. Ten seconds until Mega. Is he really going to dare hang around here for long at all? Surely not. Yeah, I'm amazed by the, uh, the balls of Tox to stay around as long as he has on as low health as he's got. And now he'll put a bit of distance between him and his opponent. And uh, suit that early exchange, still nil-nil though. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, a pretty slow start. Neither of the players want to be the first to make a, to slip up on the scoreboard. And, uh, you know, fair play to Tox, even though he had control, he's been very disciplined at the moment, uh, making sure that he didn't uh, give away that frag. And about hanging on the, to the, well, the last string of control, if you can say, to what he has right now. Another yellow in the back pocket. Red and Mega. Very, uh, up very soon, Cypher's not through the teleporter. He's down at the bottom of the stairs. A direct rocket is going to slow things down. Slow things down for the, the Swedish player. And uh, there's the Mega pick up for Cypher. Red as well. Cypher with a nice uh, rocket. He's going to chase through. This could be frag number one here in this group game. And Cypher takes it. But he is so low at the moment. The red armor is going to help out a lot. 225 health doubles. Uh, very uh, safe to have those uh, behind him. Oh wow. And we are going to see another top town. Tox goes down once more. Cypher extending that lead a bit more. And the jump up as well. Are we going to see him convert? Beautiful stuff here by Cypher. Really important stuff there from Cypher because it was a gamble to jump up and convert because he got hit straight in the face by a rocket. Went down to 30-30 and uh, then finished off Tox with the rail. He's converted it up into a four frag lead as uh, Cypher has really erupted into this game. Rockets get dropped down and it'll be Toxic putting one more in the face of Cypher and Cypher is being so aggressive at the moment and is really playing with fire because Toxic's rockets are hitting and Cypher is uh, not hugely stacked up as he gets away, collects the yellow, and uh, now will go over towards the red platform. Hits Tox as he comes out the teleporter with a rail and just make sure that Tox doesn't get too confident and he can't be confident with seven points of health. That's all Tox has got. Collects a 50 and a yellow, but uh, Cypher is uh, in control now. Yeah, he managed to get it back after what could have been something like this. A nice double rail. Tox goes down once more. Looked like he was trying to put the pressure on, but backfired horribly for him. Got red arm up soon. Look at this. Tox is just being all out aggressive. He really just wants to push, push, push down the damage and try and get something. But Cypher is just ripping him apart for the time being. There is a yellow up at the top, and Cypher just you know, regenerating his stack. Seems to be forever above 100, 100, and the Mega is going to make sure of that in just a moment. He pops down onto the Lightning Gun, he flips over, and uh, that's not how he wanted. He killed himself in the end, and his score is going backwards. It's not a good sign. Yeah, this aggression from Tox, I feel, is misplaced because if there's one thing you know about Cypher, he's 
going to be aggressive for 10 minutes straight. So just build up a stack, pick the fight, and even if that comes in like the seventh to eighth minute, you still can keep yourself uh, all in, it with, in with an opportunity because you can then chase down Cypher knowing he's going to come at you. But here, where he's going for every fight, regardless of items, it's just making that scoreboard untenable at the moment. Absolutely, and uh, well, this is Blood Run and Cypher. I say regarded to be one of the best Blood Run players in the, the world. Uh, something like that. Between Evil, maybe, is another contender, but definitely Cypher is a, a top two. And um, he, uh, he's, he's just showing how strong he is here at the moment. Uh, Tox. But it's, it's also, a, you know, I'm not going to pick on Tox too much, but it's a two yellow armor map, and Tox isn't picking up one of them at the moment because he's yeah. choosing to fight as opposed to go for it. It's almost surprising, really, that I think to Tox even picked this map, in fact. And I think it's a very strange pick to make against the Cypher, if that is indeed the case. But, um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not paying off for him at the time being. Two rails landed, though. This is Tox's opportunity! And, uh, he, well, it's answered. <laughs> yeah, it went down a little bit. Tox is coming in. He's being hyper-aggressive at the moment. It's, uh, it, it really is insane, and it's just snowballing, and uh, Cypher is getting more and more frags out of this, and he's, he's making this practically unreachable. Wow, these shots, look at this. This is what Cypher was doing last weekend. 68% rail he's uh, hitting at the moment. That is insane. insane Tox has got some anger management issues that he's trying to work out through this game at the moment, because he's going for everything. He does steal that Mega away with a machine gun, and uh, his... Uh, punished for uh, mm. for doing so and uh, Cypher though despite that is uh, not on the greatest of health but picks up bubbles and shards and uh, now will rocket down the uh, mega corridor with the mega up for a while so here comes uh, Cypher good double oh. rail and there's Tox back on the board and this could be his opportunity it's gonna have to take something magical biblical for Toxic to get back into this game but he's got the first frag and then doesn't get the follow-up <laughs> And uh, uh, no, no, a little bit of Cypher again. It's some good damage, but Tox is back going to chase. He does get, even get a number on the board now. So things are looking a bit up, but I think he maybe he's probably looking more to get a strong finish to the map to really pump himself up for Furious Heights. Uh, at, at the moment, it's looking slim, and Cypher to protect an 18 frag difference in two and a half minutes. He's definitely a player who knows how to protect uh, the frags here. That's very, very feasible. Yeah, 19 to 1 with uh, two minutes to go game has its uh, writing well and truly on the wall for Tox, but uh, credit to uh, credit to Tox for continuing to go. I mean, I, I guess at some point he just decided to kind of switch off, off a little bit from the serious mode and, mm. and just go for something and uh, keep himself fresh for map 2. Exactly. Uh, he just wanted to, to shoot Cypher as possible. Maybe getting his aim. Maybe he's going to try and uh, bully him a little bit more on the rails. And uh, Tox's like, you know, I, I'm a better aimer than you. This isn't meant to happen like this. I will show you that I can hit 80% rail, not your, your, not your measly uh, 70. I mean, there was, a, there was a school of Quake at one point where when maps got like this, you'd just call GG and, and move on. Yeah. I remember Jibo doing it at uh, ESWC 05 after like three or four minutes in, in one game, just realizing he's not going to get into it, and so, you know, move on. But uh, Tonk's not of that school, and uh, that actually you know, fell from popularity pretty quickly. But... Uh, mm. Eight minutes played, 19 to 2. We're going to go on to map 2. Do we know what map 2 is yet? I think it's very high, I believe they announced that. And it's uh, definitely the, the newest map out of the, uh, what, in the map pool? Released in Quake Live. And uh, I, I, I assume Cyclic is picking it all tournament. So I think he's going to be pretty strong there. That top as well is going to be a menace. I know that he's been working hard on that map. And I'm, I'm so surprised that this scoreline went like this on Blood Run, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say 100% certain it's not going to happen next time round. Yeah. Tox will be more disappointed for a bit. Well, Tox will take a little bit of a breather after this game whilst Group B is being played, and that'll help him just kind of, uh, you know, if this, if this game doesn't go his way, that will just help him refocus and uh, evaluate what went wrong. He's an experienced competitor. He's been through these types of events so many times before. Mm -hmm. He knows how to kind of work the brain into, uh, into gearing himself back up. He's these two players are guaranteed semi-finals anyway. Yeah, so it's not really that added pressure that you know, you're trying to fight for qualification. They've already got there. It just depends on the seeding. Uh, and maybe Tox isn't really afraid of facing any of the people in uh, Group B. So and 
could not be bothered by it. It's also impossible to, ro to, to predict who he will get out of that group of uh, Noctis, Sturmy, Avec, and Kula. Yeah, okay. 